Hi and good day, my name is Wong Jingling. The title of our project is the comparison study on the performance of Citronella grass and rice soil arterial carbon in methylene blue removal from aqueous solution. The supervisor of our group is Bon Aida. The group had two members, which is me and Boniface. Now, I will start the presentation with the project description. The current development has caused the use of dyes in the industry to be so rapid in this era. Dyes are colorants that have been used extensively in a variety of sectors, including textiles, paper, plastics, cosmetics to colorize their end products. Discharging dyes into water streams without proper treatment results in pollution and undesirable consequences such as cancerous alteration in organisms. Methylene blue is a cationic dye that is widely used which is also extremely poisonous and its breakdown process is difficult due to the presence of an aromatic ring. Thus, removing methylene blue from wastewater before releasing it into the environment is definitely vital. The most effective process in the methylene blue removal is the absorption process which involves the activated carbon as an absorbent and is versatile in the removal of pollutants. Commercially available activated carbon in the market is mostly derived from the non-renewable precursors and is expensive. Therefore, a lot of studies were carried out about discovering biomass and agricultural resources that are eco-friendly products which can be converted to an activated carbon. Therefore, the aim of this study is to produce and characterize the activated carbon from citronella grass and rice straw. Besides, this study is to study the absorption properties of citronella grass and rice straw activated carbon in methylene blue removal from aqueous solution at various contact times, initial methylene blue concentration, weight of activated carbon, and pH. The focus of this study is the performance of citronella grass and rice straw activated carbon in methylene blue removal from aqueous solution. Besides, it is extremely significant to study the use of citronella grass as a biomass type activated carbon to treat the dye, especially methylene blue. As to the best of our knowledge, no study has been reported on the preparation and details on the use of citronella grass activated carbon to treat the dye in water. The comparison will also bring new sites into the effectiveness of both activated carbons on the absorption of methylene blue in aqueous solution. Hi, my name is Boniface Galeana Jonas, so I will continue this presentation with the methodology part. The two biomains uh, used for the preparation of the activated carbon were the citron and the grass and the rice straw that uh, sourced locally. The biomains were washed and then dried under the sun of the few, of the few days. After that, the dry rice straw and the citron and the grass were the ground using the grinder and the powder was the sieve by the sieve. The carbonation uh, process were the dry the processes in order into the furnace and the one molar of the cohesive activating agents was the used to the shock carbon by the ratio once to the force of the carbons to KOH solutions. After that, the carbon is the separate from the KOH and the dry overnight. The activation uh, process was the heating the carbons in the furnace and the activation carbon was neutralized by the surface acid and the dry in oven overnight. Activation carbons were then identified so for the functional group using the FTIR spectrometers and analyzed for the elemental Compositions using the scanning electrons microscope. The absorption experiments were conduct conducted in a set of the conical flasks containing absorbents in 50 ml methylene blue with the various concentrations. The flasks were, were ignited in the incubator shaker until equilibrium was reached. The mixer was contrafilled to the separates to the, uh, the activated carbons from the solutions. The initial and the final concentration of metal blue were measured by the UVV spectrophotometers. The absorption experiments uh, also uh, involve contact time, weight of uh, activated carbons, pH of the metal blue solutions. The value range for the metal blue uh, concentration was uh, 100 until 500 ppm and contact time was 0 to 90 minutes, 2 until 11 for pH of metal blue solutions and the last one is 0 0.05 gram until 0 0.25 uh, for the weight. So the percentage of, of the removal of metal blue was uh, calculated by using the equations shown in this slide. Next is about the findings of the project. Both activated carbons were characterized by the scanning electron microscope analysis SEM and the Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy FDIR. Based on the micrograph, the surface of the rice straw activated carbon was irregular, rough, and apparent pores are seen. For citronella grass activated carbon, the surface is rough and irregular, but the pores on the surface are not obvious to be seen compared to the rice straw activated carbon. The SEM analysis shows that the rice straw developed more pores compared to the citronella grass activated carbon. The elemental analysis results from the SEM demonstrates the composition of elements in both activated carbons. 
For both arterial carbons, the main elements are oxygen, carbon, and silicon. It's expected that a huge amount of carbon is decomposed by the potassium hydroxide in chemical activation. The carbon content in rice straw activated carbon is lower, indicating the reaction of rice straw carbon with potassium hydroxide is more effective. Silicon content in rice straw activated carbon is higher due to the property of rice straw, which contains a huge amount of silica. For the FDR spectra, the peaks appearing in the spectra for both carbons and activated carbons mostly are similar with each other. It can be determined through the presence of weak OH stretching, the aliphatic deformation of CH2 or CH3 groups, which could be the occurrence of dehydration from the decomposition of volatile metals, and the carbon-carbon double bond stretching in the aromatic rings. There is OH bending occurs only for rice straw. Overall, can be concluded that the functional group of rice straw obtained in this study resembles the previous study. However, the study on the citronella grass carbon and activated carbon has never been reported yet, so the citronella grass spectra were not comparable with any previous study. The performance of rice straw and citronella grass activated carbon in methylene blue removal from aqueous solution was evaluated with various contact times, initial methylene blue concentrations, pH, and weight of activated carbons. First is the results for the effect of contact time on the methylene blue removal. Near the end of the experiment, the absorption decrease may be due to the lack of available active sites required for further uptake after attaining the equilibrium at 20 minutes for rice straw activated carbon and 10 minutes for citronella grass activated carbon. This experiment results has shown that the rice straw activated carbon had a higher percentage removal in methylene blue than citronella grass activated carbon. Next is about the results for the effect of initial methylene blue concentration. The citronella grass activated carbon absorbed more at a lower methylene blue and reached maximum absorption faster than the rice straw activated carbon. The larger size of pore on the surface area in rice straw activated carbon, more methylene blue may have been absorbed onto the pore surfaces. This result has shown that the rice straw activated carbon in 300 ppm methylene blue had a higher percentage removal than the citronella grass activated carbon in 100 ppm methylene blue followed by the results for the effect of absorbent dose, also known as the weight of activated carbon. The weight of activated carbons determines the capacity of activated carbon for the removal of a given initial concentration of the methylene blue. The increasing availability of more sites of activated carbons to remove the methylene blue, the higher the percentage removal of methylene blue. In this experiment, the percentage of methylene blue removal by 0.25 gram of rice to activated carbon is higher than the 0.25 gram of citronella grass activated carbon. This is a result for the effect of pH on methylene blue removal. Methylene blue are positively charged particles, which are also known as cationic dyes. At a higher pH, the electrostatic suction force between negatively charged activated carbon surface and methylene blue dye molecules help in the absorption of cationic substances. In this experiment, the percentage of methylene blue removal by rice straw activated carbon at pH 9 is higher than the citronella grass activated carbon at pH 7. In conclusion, more than 99% of methylene blue removal was obtained using rice straw activated carbon at 0.25 gram of weight and 300 ppm of methylene blue at pH 9 in 20 minutes. Meanwhile, about 98% of methylene blue removal was obtained using citronella grass activated carbon in 10 minutes using 0.25 gram weight and pH 7 of 100 ppm methylene blue. This data shows that rice straw activated carbon give better performance of methylene blue removal in an aqueous solution compared to citronella grass activated carbon. For now, I will present the novelty and the inventiveness of the project. There is potential of citronella grass activated carbon in treating the methylene blue dye in aqueous solution. To the best of our knowledge, there is still no reported study on the production of activated carbon from citronella grass and the details in treating the dye in water. From the SEM analysis, the surface of citronella grass activated carbon is rough, irregular, and has pores. The FDIR spectra of citronella grass activated carbon were observed to be mostly similar to the rice straw activated carbon and indicate it has the basic properties of an activated carbon. In the absorption experiments of methylene blue, there is about 98% of methylene blue removal. Although the percentage removal of methylene blue using citronella grass activated carbon is not as high as the rice straw activated carbon, the methylene blue removal in the water was still considered as high and efficient. The result has proven that citronella grass activated carbon can also be one of the alternatives for dye removal in water. Besides, the study on the comparison of performance of two types of biomass-based activated carbons on methylene blue removal in water is a researchable topic. The comparison of the performance between a new type of activated carbon and a reported activated carbon in water in this study could obtain and suggest a better biomass type activated carbon to be used to treat dye in water. In this study, rice straw activated carbon performs better in removing the methylene blue from aqueous solution compared to citronella grass activated carbon. Now, I will proceed with the potential application part. In this study, the, the activated carbons produced uh, from the rice straw and the citronella are applied in the absorption uh, process of dye. 
the analysis uh, of the both activated carbons was shows the surface of the activated carbon is porous. The adsorption performance by activated carbons in the in this study shows a positive results. However, the activated carbon in this study could also be equative adsorbents in the adsorption process that are involved in the different applications for above industry use, especially in the treatment of the textile wastewater and the uh, residence use. For example, drinking waters, purification rounds, waters, treatment center, recovery, and so on. Let's continue with the next part is about the developments. This study is mainly focused on the removing methylene blue from the aqueous solutions. The positive finding of the methylene blue removal by the rice and the citronella grass activated carbons have given high potentials in the future developments. Both activated carbons can be further used in treating the dries in the wastewater from the different industries. So this is due to the water pollution cause of the dyes is also one of the significant environmental problems. Other than that, the preparations of the activated carbon in this study is carbonization and the chemical activations. In the future developments of the study, the activated carbons may be modified by combining microbial properties or the microwave activated carbons. This may help in the cost savings and improve the application's performance of the activated carbon in the future. I will continue the presentation with the last part which is social benefits of the project. Biomass-based activated carbon is a green, pollution-free and recyclable material. The loose porous environment and high specific surface area in activated carbon provide an excellent purification and absorption ability. The biomass type activated carbon can reduce the environmental pollution which due to the presence of dye in wastewater. Treating the dye can also help to reduce the health threat to human beings and microbes as the methylene blue dye is harmful above certain concentration due to its substantial toxicity. The findings in this study has shown the high efficiency of biomass type activated carbon which is rice straw and stunella grass in removing the methylene blue dye in water. The results on the performance of activated carbons in this study is appropriate to be used as a reference for the further research. Further exploration of the citronella type activated carbon is significant as well. So that's all from us. Thank you very much.